Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Cyberpunk Edge Runners episode number three reaction. All right, the previous episode we see David uh, like you know grow up, get the Sand uh, Viston in, and go to his school, beat up that guy, and just leave. Now there's one thing I was kind of concerned about that was uh, you know like the Sand Viston being military tech. Uh, people like you know the, the authorities might try and come in and like arrest him, like you know take it, yank it out of him. And maybe kill him i thought that's how it was maybe it was going to go however it's not going in that direction because they have some other plans we see what their plan is they're going to use other uh, chrome on him and test it on him make him like a guinea pig so for now he's safe however later on this might become a problem uh, either way uh, he meets lucy and uh, she's this girl who just uh, steals eddies from uh, you know like corpo members and uh, he helps her out for a moment like you know, kind of becomes like her partner but after using sandivision so many times he just gets knocked out like you know starts bleeding from his nose and everything so yeah the ripper doc says no more than three times you use it so that that was that and later on he goes with lucy to her house and uh, lucy shows him the bd of the moon and kind of like you know it hints she kind of hints that she wants to leave this place go to the moon and you know and uh, all that stuff however in the end surprise surprise uh yeah a few people came in and they're like oh this 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 tech belongs to us this cyberware <laughs> and uh, i i still think that lucy i don't know like you know if, if lucy just wanted to just sell him off he, she could have done, done that anytime however her like you know kind of being with him for so long and everything he she could have done that anytime so i feel like there's some kind of a other thing going on here like this is not your typical selling him off to some other uh, like you know goons like not like that let's see what it is either way uh, episode number three let us begin i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is a preference and let us begin right here's the countdown three two one go all right let's see No, oh, the opening. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, what's going on? Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. Okay, so Oh, wait. Is it is it his mom who who is the supplier?
It's, it was his mom, I think. There you go. Well... Well, uh, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, like he just found it in his house. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, he probably won't, he'll probably want to join. Military grade. So maybe he can find another one. I don't think you can just find another one. Well, he... Yeah, he's a good one. He can use it more than... <laughs> yeah, he, he's more than capable. Nope. It's eight times he did. Nah. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, he's bleeding. Hmm. A job. Yep. Hmm. All right. Okay. Wait, what the? Oh, a tracer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Like, where can he even run? He doesn't have anywhere to go. That's the thing. He doesn't know what to do. Like, like all alone in this. Hmm. There you go. Like, I was saying, like, she could have done this anytime. Why was she not? Okay. There you go. So it took her a while to actually test. Mm. No, it's gone. <laughs> He's still using this place, obviously. Rent is overdue and stuff, but... Oh, that's her uh, mother's ashes. Ah, uh, his, sorry. Oh, principal! Yeah, nobody cares. Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah, right. <sighs> oh my god, he's like, shut up, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> who's that? Wait, who? Oh my. 
Oh, that, okay, that's his name, Mine. All right. Hmm. Damn. Hey, yo, what's up with his hands? <laughs> GV, Doyo, and Pillar. Ah. Yeah, well. What the? Okay. Huh, all right. Yeah, exactly. That'll be a problem. So only take the... Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn you Ah uh. Oh Ah implants Oh my god he's so this will happen It's one of his people. Okay. All right, then, then, then we'll use the Sandiviston and get, yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. And then put it back. All right. Yeah, makes sense. Shouldn't let him know what's going on. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. That's a problem. Trip him up. Okay. Oh, wait, what? What? <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice car. Damn, look at that. Oof. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, the 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 little mini game that we had to play in in the game. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, take the car and run! Take the car and run! I, that's the only way I can see. <laughs> Like, what else should I do here? Like, just... Time to... <laughs> Drive! Uh, uh, Alright. Damn. Well, you made it... Made the situation more difficult, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, nice that you have bulletproof car, you know. <laughs> oh boy. Okay.
Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, he's you're driving, so autopilot. Wait. Oh. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Oh my god. Wait, what the? <laughs> Damn, one of the gangs. All right. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, no. No, now what? Oh, my God. What do we do now? They're going to catch up. This is big traffic. Is he using Sandivistan? No. Well, yeah, no other way. Yeah, he's using Sandiviston. There you go. Whoa! Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Damn, and how many times have you used today? Five or six times already. Oh, nice! Oh! Yes! Oh my god! Oh! Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, thank god, we're back on track. Oh boy. Oh no, this is like some kind of, I hope there's, oh. okay. Oh no, oh no, I feel like, oh my god, oh no! When did he come from? Oh, he's the other guy. Oh. Uh, Oh, the mono wire. Yes, nice. Yeah, chop it off. Yep, there you go. That's a mono wire. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, who? Oh, it's. it's the group? Damn! Oh, uh, my, uh, my, what was his name? Mine? I think? I, I, I forgot his name. Oh, damn. Yeah, he can easily take care of you. There you go. Mm. <laughs> How many? Okay. Well, yeah. Good lord. <laughs> There's a bullet. Yeah. All right. Well, it's passed, I guess. Hopefully. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hmm. All right, there you go. Hmm. Oh, damn. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, 
اه اوكي ده يجو ايمن سبرسنس يا هي نيدز ذات اه ات از نايس وول يا ساندل امم مور كرونز There you go. It's a minus a percent. Hmm. Who the who's this? Who the hell? Hello. Damn, this guy's three eyes. What? No, four eyes. Sorry. Um. Oh, he he's declined. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, the client. Faraday. Oh, damn. Oh, he's a fixer. Okay, okay. I was like, he's a client. Okay. No, no, he's a fixer. Yeah, he's the one who gets the job and he's like more like a person. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. No, nope. who's that? Who? Oh, she's that girl. What was her name? Yeah, yeah. Rebecca. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Come on, guy. <sighs> yeah. Oh god. Wait, Tanaka. That's Is that the dad? No, the Tanaka that we were talking about, that guy, the fixer guy, he's talking about some Tanaka. Is that like probably related to his dad or something? Okay. Maybe. I don't think that's carbonated. That's probably... And there you go. All right, he he joins the cyberpunks, and 
There you go. So, okay, it, I was like, I was thinking, like, I was like, where have I heard the name Tanaka before in this game? Uh, in this, in this, uh, like, you know, anime. And, yeah, there you go. Tanaka is that guy. So, the fixer, he was talking about some Tanaka. So, it must be, like, someone related to him. His dad, probably. Okay, that is it. Yes, so there you go. Here in this episode, we get to see um, David joining the cyberpunks. All right, so first of all, uh, this episode, we begin with um, David being hung upside down <laughs> by Mane. Uh, or Mane, sorry, I think that's how they pronounce his name. Mane, uh, by Mane. And uh, so... Okay, it makes sense. So Rebecca, uh, not Rebecca, uh, what was her name? Lucy, yeah. Lucy called um, them because they, like, you know, she kind of explained it later on because she thought that it might be something that was, like, you know, like, uh, main, like, you know, it might be, might be main scroll, the Santa Vista. And uh, that is why it took her a while to kind of actually, um, what's that word? To, to, like run certain tests and figure out whether it is actually his or not and that is why he she actually hung out with him for so long trying to figure out if it is actually that Santa Vista and after she figured it out she she called them in and uh, there you go it was not like you know like she didn't like sell him off to someone it was basically her own crew and that is why she brought them here all right that, like that makes sense and uh, so obviously main is like oh like you know the sand of is mine and everyone's like what should we do now like taking it out of him is going to cost uh, like you know eddies and uh, it's uh, like you know, even if you kill him and take him out then it's still going to cost eddies uh maybe a little cheaper but still you know it's kind of an expensive thing so <laughs> they're like what should we do with this now so Obviously, uh, David is first of all confused. He's like, "What is going on?" And then he's like, "Oh, so you're the one who, uh, like, you know, you you tricked me. Uh, like, you know, tells Lucy, and you brought these guys in." And uh, so here we get to see uh, them explaining how this is this is actually a chrome that one of the suppliers was supposed to give it to them, and he's the one who stole it. So obviously, at this moment, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, like. Like, you know, it's pretty obvious that the supplier was his mom so as soon as he wait what's her mom's his mom's name gloria isn't it gloria martinez yeah gloria there you go so uh he's like oh who's the supplier and when they said you know, gloria martinez he's like oh i'm i'm his son so obviously they like the whole thing kind of comes uh, a little bit becomes a little bit clearer they put him down and uh, they're like, but what? Wait, then you know, like, you're Gloria's son. Why did she give it to you? And then he explains how she is dead. And uh, then they understand everything. They're like, all right, so that is why uh, she was not you know, picking up her phone. So, but it still doesn't negate the fact that he's the one who, you know, took it and implanted in him. And they're not happy about it. So, like, you cannot blame David here because he didn't know it's them. He like oh no he maybe thought he he thought like just her mom probably like you know got it from somewhere or you know something happened like yeah, he he didn't know that obviously that it is something that she would be supplying to them so he's like I do not know about it so yeah and <laughs> this one guy this this long armed guys I I don't know what his name is this, this you know that 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 guy with long arms. <laughs> 
It's like, oh, you guy, you you are you're a crazy person, aren't you? <laughs> like, without even knowing what type of chrome it is, you just put it inside of you. Like, <laughs> you're wild. <laughs> oh boy. But anyways, um, you know, um, he's like, okay, so you know what? I can understand your problem. Then uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll work for you. I'll work for you and I'll pay it back. You know, like pay like, for after every job. Little by little, I'll pay, I'll pay you back for the Santa Piston. And uh, yeah, now these guys, they, they obviously, they're like, ah, what are you saying? You're a kid. You, you, you cannot use the Santa Piston. But Lucy kind of vouches here. Lucy's like, yeah, he did use it for a couple of times. And uh, they're like, oh, how many times? One, two times, three times? And he's like, nah, eight times. Obviously, they're not believing. So he's like, all right, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. So he's like, I'm going to, okay, as soon as he says that, they kind of aim the gun at him because obviously they thought that, oh, he's maybe just trying to make a run for it, which, you know, now here's the thing. This is the thing that um, obviously they did not, look, you know, they, they don't understand here is that David will not run away because he has nowhere to go. That's the thing. He, he's, he's just trying to find a place to just like, you know, like to just stay and to just belong that's what david is trying to do here like like throughout his life all he had was his mom and uh, after his mom is dead you know he's he's just all alone now in in this in this big city so that's what he wants he he, he just wants some place that he could settle down you know be it wherever be it like the cyberpunks or someone else you know he just he just wants like some place like you know some people that he can you know like interact with someone at least he wants and that's why he's never going to run away in these type of situation if he had something some place to go back to if he had some place to you know, run back to some place where he has is already settled then he would run away you know but here he has no motive of running away he would never run away in this situation because he, he just wants a place and uh, he, he at this moment he immediately realized that yeah this is probably my best bet here if i'm actually able to join these guys here i'll act, at least have some place to go back to and uh, that is why he was like yeah I, and also he's get, he'll get some money to like you know survive not only that you know like some people some friends so he's like yeah like you know i'm i'm, I'm not going to run you know like I'll, I'll show you i'm not going to do anything crazy all i'm going to do is i'll take the cigarette you know that guy has and uh, yeah so he does it cigarette is gone and he puts it back in so two more times he used it so ninth time so there you go he's like yeah no tenth time not ninth time he have already used it eight times so two times he used ten times and he's bleeding <clears throat> so we see lucy looking at him because obviously she, you know she, she's looking at this like you know whole whole thing going down and uh, like I said, you can see David is actually, I guess you could say very, uh, what can I say? Like, you know, he, he's serious about this because he, he actually wants to, you know, like, like uh, wants for a place to go back to. And that's what's going on. Like he, he would not run away. He would not try to like, you know, cut corners in this situation because this is like his best bet to get to a, to a place where there are people and for him to be included in that group so okay so he's like all right so you give me a job let me do it and i'll i'll show you guys i'll i'll show you you know whether i can repay you back or not and uh, so looking at his eyes looking at his determination main is like all right you know what fair enough i'll i'll give you i'll give you a chance and he says like i i owe a little bit of like you know like i i owe it to gloria so i'm going to I'm going to help you. And here Lucy kind of jacks in the, the, the transmitter or whatever inside of him because, you know, just in case he runs away. But like I said, David will not run away. He, he just wants a place where he can go back to. And in no way by running away can that be achieved because this is his best bet. Like, this is the thing. This is the, this is nice city, you know. Like, everything has a price. You don't get anything for free. You know, the, the, the place is messed up, you know. People rob you kill you do whatever and uh, the you know like in this in this place you need a place to go back to you know you cannot be alone it's, it's it'll be horrendous living alone in night city will be horrendous like you know like people will 
try to rob you, try to trick you, try to like, you know, I don't know, shank you in the middle of the street. I don't know what they're going to do because yeah, like every place there's somewhere the other people will try to trip you out. And in this place, especially you need a place to go back to. If you don't have that, you're all alone in this miserable city, just, just suffering day after day. And he, he's not accustomed to living alone, you know, he, he's always been with his mom. So suddenly losing his mom, he wants a place to go back to. And that is why he's like, yeah, this is my best bet. Because obviously, uh, in school, there's no one people will like keep hounding him about being, you know, people, person, someone from the lower society. Not only that, uh, his house that he had, you cannot go back there because rent overdue. Like there's no, no, no place to go back to. So he's like, yeah. Like, and this is my best bet. I feel like these people might be able to give me a place to go back to. And that's why he, he took that chance. And like a good thing that, you know, his mom was also acquainted with them. So he does know that, yeah, these people might be, you know, obviously they're a shady bunch, but they're the good type of shady bunch. <laughs> if that even means something. <laughs> so yeah, like, you know, that's why he's like, yeah, like, you know, my mom was acquainted with them. Maybe I can trust them. But obviously, after proving himself, so they put the transmitter in him and they're like, all right, I'm going to give you a job. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. M main leads. And uh, after that, we get to like, you know, a little conversation uh, between David and uh, Lucy. And David is like, oh, these are the guys you roll with. And uh, Lucy explains that, yeah, I, I saw you like, you know, using the Sandy. Didn't think it was Mains, but Main was pretty pissed off about someone stealing it. So I just... Like, you know, stall you for a moment, check if it's actually main Sandy or not. Uh, but, uh, yeah, after realizing that it is main Sandy, we called him. I called him. And he says, like, oh, so you lied to me all the time. And he's like, yeah. Uh, she's like, oh, go back home. And he's like, yeah, fine. I'm going to go back. And he goes. Now, here's the thing. He says you lied to me the whole time. I feel like there's a few things uh, in the previous episode that were probably the truth. That is especially his, like you know when she said her intentions is to go back to the go go to the moon. That part I think is true, and how he likes like you know he wants to leave Night City and all that you know go to the moon. That that part I think is probably not a lie. I doubt that because she seemed too serious about that for it just to be a made up lie. So that's I don't I don't I don't think that's that's a lie. That was not a lie. But other than that, obviously, like, you know, she did lie, I guess. And yeah, David just leaves and goes back to his house, you know, his, his rented house. And yeah, sits down there, like, his mother's ashes are there. Okay. So, we see him outside. After that, a, a while, you know, the principal calls. And the principal is like, oh, based on your academic perform performances, Mr. Martinez, uh, you have an, a very rare opportunity to make everything okay. So uh, all you gotta do is what does he say? Oh, I talked with Mr. Tanaka and he graciously agreed um, to strike several demerits from your records. Should you offer an apology? Uh, like you know, obviously. And David is like, yeah, screw you, guy. Like I know, I can't be bothered. Like I just. Cuts the call down and then later on he gets called by main I'm guessing yeah so there you go they are in the main <laughs> they're in the, in the in the in the uh, I, I don't know like that's probably like a hideout they had and uh, there we meet a few people here okay let me let me go and what are their names just a minute okay Kiwi Kiwi is that girl I think that's a girl uh with the mask Dorio and Pillar who is Dorio and who is Pillar is that girl Pillar or is that guy Dorio who, who is Pillar who is Dorio I'm not exactly sure but either of them obviously his name is Main and uh, okay Kiwi Dorio Pillar Main all right so I love how he when he tries to <laughs> introduce him, he's like, "I ah, shut up, kid." Slaps him, and yeah, gives him the shard, and uh, he tells what the uh, like a mission will be. Uh, 
Arasaka caught driver and bodyguard Maxim always goes to an underground betting, uh, like, you know, wrestling ring and uh, bets on, like, you know, like, like his favorite person, that, that, that lady, that huge lady. Uh, and he says, what we're going to do is we're going to swipe the navigational data from the limo he drives. Not the limo, but the data because we need to be discreet. So there you go. Okay, so only that data. Uh, so how? Betting on boxing is a guy's sole joy in life. You can beat, bet his ass in one of those seats every weekend. Okay, Butcher, that's the name of that lady. So he, he always like, you know, bets on her and he defeats her. She defeats everyone. But however, this time we'll have an opponent who has some implants in her and she's going to just kill him, uh, kill her. Uh, obviously, uh, the person who will be defeating that uh, kind of butcher will be one of our people, you know. And uh, he'll get pissed off, leave this place, go to a bar, and drink his sorrows down over there. Get completely just, you know, like just knocked out because of the alcohol. Then David is going to come in, use the sandy, get the shard give it to uh that girl what's her name dorio okay dorio that's her name so pilar is the the guy the the, the <laughs> that guy the the, the long arms guy <laughs> so give it to dorio and dorio will start uh making a copy and stealing the navy data so how from this point onwards how the plan would go is that she makes completes the making the copy and the stealing the data uh, David grabs it back and puts it back in him. However, things starts going wrong from this point onwards because Arasaka, uh, like, you know, his boss from the Arasaka, you know, top, they call him for some job. So he gets up and he's like, oh, I need to go back. So not enough time to make a copy or steal the whole thing. So what do we do? Here in comes Rebecca who is also one of their people, you know, like uh, the cyberpunks. She comes in and she, <laughs> she drops the soda in her, on him. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stalls him down. And uh, yeah, then uh, David goes in to the limo and nab the data from there. So that's the plan. So how do you open it? How do you do it? Uh, Lucy's here. Lucy's like, I'm going to take care of it. So they get in and that's a goddamn, that's a really good limo. You know, like obviously like one of the Arasaka bodyguards, you know. So she gets in, starts hacking and, uh, but not enough time, you know, that guy is like coming back and he realizes that the shard is gone. And she's, he's like, oh, you're the one who took it? And Rebecca's like, oh, what are you saying? You're so scary. Anyways, so next we see um, Lucy hacking. And <laughs> this is one of the most frustrating mini games in, in the game, Cyberpunk 2077. It's, I, I don't like this game at all. You know, this mini game, the, the one where you have to just like you know the hacking part where you have to you know like there's like a few sequences they give you what you have to do is like look at the sequences and look one after the other you have to like you know kind of line it down within a limited amount of tries so it's more of a match game you know you know one of those matching games you do that type of thing where you need to properly like at least complete one of the nodes there are usually three nodes if you're able to complete three nodes at the same time that's crazy you get the maximum rewards at least you have to complete one of the nodes and each node has like a particular reward to you for example maybe one of the nodes have a reward that will give you some more um i don't know like some more parts like you know cyberware parts or whatever like you know they give and the other one has is that it's going to give you a lot of a huge amount of edits and the middle one is maybe it's going to complete like one of the missions like you know like stealing data or something like that so the one you have to focus on is the middle one that's going to complete the mission and if you're able to nap the other two within that process by matching it well and good you're going to get some extra stuff so it's always so difficult to actually match three of them at the same time like you know like very rarely you're able to do it 
uh, especially because of the time limit as well. And sometimes the sequence is complete crap. That sequence that they give you, you're not able to like match anything. So this, that's why I hate this mini game. This this whole hacking mini game. I hate it. You can, however, increase your time and all that by increasing your skills in the you know in the cyberware uh, like you know uh, skill tree. You can increase all that stuff. You can do that. But if you don't focus on that skill tree, you know you'll be screwed in this. So that's the thing and uh, like you know the skill tree in this game is kind of limited there's like a level cap there's like a limited amount of skill points you can focus on so there's like six skill trees you have in the game but you can only focus on completely maxing out three of them the other three will you won't be able to do anything to them so you need to choose like what my character in cyberpunk 2077 is like i have max reflexes which is you know like helps you in uh, using swords and stuff bladed weapons I have max uh, like you know firepower that one the the uh, the one where you have maximum uh, like you know like uh, kind of like shooting like you know the, the, the that one the the, the shooting one uh, and then there's like the one destruction like I completely focused on the offense part the the like you know the the net running part and all that I did not focus on that that's why I always have huge trouble in this one and I don't like this game at all however like, we can see Lucy just just zooming in through it she's probably focused her everything on her cyberware section so that's why she's so good <laughs> i guess yeah so yeah she grabs the data and uh, but you know like the security has locked them inside and yeah there you go so what do, do they do like this guy uh uh that guy uh the the bodyguard guy he comes in and he starts like you know just banging on the like in you know, this window and he's like oh open up open up uh and so here's the thing <laughs> he's the one who started intimidating them so that is why uh david and lucy had no other choice but to take the car and just just go <laughs> And then he's like, oh my god, my car, what are you doing? Like, I, it seemed like he's more upset about the fact that <laughs> you're damaging his car than the fact that you broke in. <laughs> Later on, you know, like, David starts trying to, like, you know, drive. He cannot drive properly. He just bangs it into one of the light posts and then bangs it to another one of the light posts. And <laughs> he's like, oh my god, my car, you, what are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, nothing you can do, like, you know, like, all you can do now is, like, take the car and just go. And that's what they start doing like they start driving away and uh, obviously they you know like that guy is not able to follow them because he's on foot however uh, they they immediately contact I'm guessing the Arasaka uh, like, you know, people and they hire goons to track them down and like you know attack them so David is trying his best to like just you know like drive okay so all right so i was thinking how is he able to drive if he has never driven so lucy says that the, the autopilot is on so i'm guessing he, he, the autopilot is on and she he's also kind of helping drive so there you go okay so the tiger cross comes in one of the gangs you know <laughs> their motorbikes are crazy so they've put a bounty on him obviously so that is why this is happening and uh, yeah they are they're quite fast the limo is fast so they're able to kind of go out and quickly like you know run away however there's a traffic jam in front of them and now what do they do the whole like you know place is packed the the stagger claws are coming from behind so david kind of like you know kind of looks at this and he kind of gets reminded of that drive-by that his mom died in you know and he realized that if he doesn't do anything now the same is going to happen to him and lucy here they'll die they'll come in and just probably blow up the whole car so he's like all right i'm going to do something so he uses sandy piston to like just go okay so he he's fast like you know like it makes a car fast go you know very fast uses the sandy and then turns the like you know wheel the steering wheel so hard that within a matter of seconds it, it just completely like goes like this and that's how i think they were he was able to kind of jump up a little bit i don't know how he was able to do it but he was able to do it using the sandy and obviously the other side of the uh, like you know the other road it's it's free you know there's not much traffic 
the green guy <laughs> on the motorbike, he, he, he gets crashes into one of the cars, while the pink motorbike guy, or the red, whatever it is, he's still following us. So using the Sandy, he's able to kind of like, you know, just very closely just from the coming the tra traffic is coming from that direction. So he's able to dodge and move. <laughs> oh my God, this part was crazy. And we see, um, where's that guy? Uh, that guy comes in as well. Yeah, the Tiger Claw guy. And David does a really good maneuver here using Sandy again. Uh, one, one truck was in front. He just moves at the last moment. So yeah, this guy, I thought he was just going to crash and fall down. No, he crashes, falls down. His whole body breaks into two and he's dead then and there. So that guy is dead. However, the green guy is still left. You know, the green guy on the motorbike. He was probably still following. So he was following, you know, and they did not know, realize. They thought like, hey, yeah, they're gone. So they come to the meeting place, stop the car, and they're like, oh, where, where are they? Tries to, like, you know, David tries to, uh, like, you know, kind of see in what's going on, if there's someone in there. But yeah, uh, the green guy comes here. The Tiger Claw guy, and yeah, David has not fought properly, you know. He has fought that kid, the Tanaka kid. However, this is like an actual, actual gangster. He, he's an actual gang member. So he has like swords and stuff, implants, full of implants, like, you know, like mantis arms and everything. So he uses his sword to try to attack him. Lucy comes in, uses the mono wire, uh, grabs the sword. And he has two swords. So he was going to use it to attack Lucy, but David comes in. Yeah, gets him, breaks one of his sword using the Sandy. And yeah, like they did do like a very good uh, tag team thing here. Both kind of help each other out. Uh, this guy tries to attack him with the other sword, but uh, Lucy grabs his arm. And as soon as I saw he grabbed, she grabbed his arm. I knew it will be over because mono wires are very tough. You know, they can just completely chop you down. So yeah, that happens. His one arm is gone, but this guy, he's like, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, one arm is gone, it's fine. He probably had a, like, you know, like a lot of juice in him, you know, like all the drugs and stuff. He probably was not feeling any pain over there. He's like, ah, yeah, okay, my, my arm is gone. I probably will have to pay for another implant. It's okay. Grabs the other arm and, and takes, a, like, you know, like a mantis arm out. Now, Lucy doesn't know what to do because you know lucy got one of his arms and uh, she she doesn't have enough time to get the other one tries to shoot him however thankfully uh main scar comes in main comes out and yeah gives him a good punch you know using his gorilla arm or whatever i don't know <laughs> and later on he now this is one thing i don't think even cyberpunk 2077 has is his arm, Ming's arm, transforms into a cannon and he just destroys him. I don't think Cyberpunk has this, at least the game has, doesn't have this. I don't think so. You know, all the chromes that we have seen, all the implants that we have seen up until now, Cyberpunk has it, you know, like the monowire, the mantis arms, you know, all that, the gorilla arms, you know. So all these things, yeah, the game has. However, I don't think this one is something that the game has. It'll be kind of cool if they add it later on, you know, like where your arm transforms into a gun or like a literal cannon. <laughs> Good lord. It'll be too overpowered, I feel like. But either way, uh, yeah, he's just blasted, like just scattered into multiple pieces. And Main is like, yeah, good job, kid. Sorry for the wait. And <laughs> David knocks out, gets knocked out. And yeah, later on we see they're having like a party, uh, uh, this guy, Pilar, he's doing party tricks using his hand. <laughs> and Himane is like, oh, good job for a rookie, you know, you, you, you did good. And welcome to the club. And he's like, uh, yeah, so he, he talks about how don't forget that even though you have friends here, the only person you should believe up until the end is you yourself. Don't trust anyone. And uh, later on, he, he kind of, you know, like, uh, gives him a little bit of the cut, you know, 
from the eddy so he's like yeah we take care of ourselves here and uh, gives him immunosuppressants a month's worth and wait how much money did he pay him just a minute let me check if i'm able to see at least 200 no what how much okay something 200 or 2000 i'm not exactly sure probably 2000 that's a good amount you know 2000 yeah good amount uh you know like a kind of like a, a normal pay for a mission as far as i can remember in cyberpunk the game obviously i'm talking about uh yeah like you like complete one of the one of the less less difficult missions you kind of get like this like you know 2000 like you know 1900 this amount if, if it's like a very very difficult mission yeah then you get a bit you know like like 3000 to 4000 that much but normal missions and like you know lower ended missions are this and yeah this was this was actually a normal mission or a lower end mission this was not that difficult you only had two people coming behind you and usually it's more than that <laughs> so yeah there you go uh so he's like yeah like I, I, david was surprised he was like wait i'm you know, i have your chrome uh, you know your your your, your uh, implant with me so you know, why are you giving me money and he's like nah like you know we, we take care of ourselves we do everything fairly here so there you go and he says like you know like uh don't worry uh get something in your bones you know he's like are you mostly organic like the way they talk in this like you know in, in this world is so crazy he's like are you mostly organic which means obviously is he chromed up or not like and obviously he doesn't have any much like you know cyberware or chrome in him only the only thing he has is the sand of Eston. so he's like are you mostly organic <laughs> And he's like, yeah, like, you know, I don't have much in me. So, uh, Ming says, like, once you have enough dough, start fixing yourself up, you know, put more implants in you. Skin and bone won't be able to keep up with the sand True. So he's basically telling him to get more implants and get more cyberware. And uh, he's like, yeah, sure. And he says, like, if you had that, you could you could have easily taken care of the tiger troll, which is true. You know, if he had, I don't know, like, like a mono, uh, not a mono, sorry. Uh, if you had, like, he had, like, a mantis arm or something, he could have easily done, like, you know, like, a lot over there. Using the sandy vest and the, like, you know, and the, and, the, and the mantis arm. Yo, that'll be crazy, you know, just, just stop time and slash everyone up. <laughs> okay, so they're having that conversation and... Uh, in comes a car everyone stops and this guy comes out he's a fixer now here you go for a moment i thought this was a client but you know it makes sense none of the clients actually come to the mercenaries this was actually a fixer now let me say here what is a fixer fixers are basically you know in the game you have this huge area of like you know the map this like map is like divided into how many like six to seven parts like top bottom this and that and in each area there's a fixer you know like there is uh, madam ping i remember no what was his name uh her name madam uh ah, what was the name of that fixer uh, she's the uh, okay where is it let me check let me check uh fixer all right uh Okay, um, oh yeah, Dakota Smith, yeah, Dakota Smith was there, Dexter Deshaun was there, but obviously Dexter Deshaun is gone, uh, you know, in the game, dead, uh, then, well, Mr. Hands, yeah, Mr. Hands, oh, obviously Rogue is a fixer, I forgot about that completely, Rogue is a fixer, Regina Jones is a fixer, yeah, uh, oh, Wakako, yeah, Wakako, that's, that's a lady, Wakako, uh and uh, yeah these 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 are all the fixers in the game a, a few others as well however there were like you know these amount these like you know fixers in the game and each person had like their own particular section top bottom you know, middle they had and over there whenever you go they used to provide you mission you know they used to call you and they would be like oh you know what like you know like there's like this going on over here go over there steal something uh, don't let them figure you out like if you there's like an usually an optional mission they give you like for example oh don't let them uh like you know don't alert them so if you do it steadily they're going to give you more money and stuff and uh like not necessarily you have to complete the optional missions but it'll be good if you do that 
and uh, that and then maybe sometimes uh, he'll be like uh, oh like you know like uh, like like something like you know like these type of optional missions they would give you and you used to do it one after the other and as you do more and more missions for them moment like you know optionally momentarily they'll kind of uh, like you know, message you and say that oh you're doing a good job you know i'm going to give you more difficult ones and which has a lot more rewards and they're going to kind of give you better like you know job opportunities and you know by the end of it you're able, if you're able to complete all their missions they'll give a nice little bonus you know like like sometimes like a good uh sword a good you know like maybe a good uh gun or something or something else like you know like something good they used to give you if you complete all their missions and uh, that's a that are fixes basically it kind of they kind of do what their names imply fixes fixes the job for you gives you the job they're basically the person in between the client comes in to them gives them the job and they, you know the fixers they they contact their mercenaries or you know their people and uh, yeah gave them the jobs and you complete the job the fixers uh, like you know obviously the client has provided the money to the fixer the fixer gives you the money and keeps a cut from that basically that so that is a fixer and this guy is a fixer which at first i did not realize but later on they kind of explain that and uh, he comes in and he's like oh like you know like i thought i thought i told you to be discreet you know why didn't you do it and uh, but main kind of says like you know you requested it and we provided it to you uh but he's like no that's not my point my point is that you did provide the, the coordinates but you know the limo you also took so they're alert now you know uh, so they're going to change the location okay where's that part where he talks about um okay it was imperative to find where tanaka frequents there you go tanaka i was like where have i heard the name tanaka before it's probably uh that kid's dad or maybe someone related to him so probably dad so basically they are trying to i'm kind of surprised that david did not like you know like get surprised after hearing the name tanaka in his mouth you know you probably would be like oh my god that's you know i know him uh my, my school school uh, like, you know, my, my schoolmate his his dad probably but either way um you know he says like it'll be it was imperative to find where tanaka frequents but now that the look like, you know, they're alerted they're, they're going to yeah he has already changed sites there you go the joyride puts us back at square one and put tanaka on high alert so he's like yeah we need to lay down for a moment and he, for a moment you know like um Oh, uh, Main also says change size for what? And he's like, I'm not supposed to tell you that. And Main is like, then what do you expect from us? You know, you're not going to disclose the whole thing. And he's like, uh, like, you know, you guys are mercenaries. I'm not supposed to give you all this information. You do what you say, get the money. Am I clear? And in the end, he's like, all right, fine, sure. So he says like, good. So yeah. Um, uh, now what we have to do is like lay low for a bit. And uh, yeah. I'll wait until the target lets his guard down again. So then we're, we're going to start. So he leaves and uh, uh, his name is Faraday. So he is one of the fixers. Uh, like when David asks Main, who is it? And uh, <laughs> David is like, I thought you were the boss. And he's like, no, I'm the one who gets stuff done. He's the one who pays us. Like I said, you know, he's, he's a fixer. He, he gets a cut of the like, you know, thing from the client. And all the clients come to the fixers. Like obviously, all the clients cannot come to the individual mercenaries. Like it'll be problem then. Uh, so yeah, they go to the fixers, give their job, and the fixers fixes the job and gives it to a few. You know, basically the man in between. They are. So yeah. Okay. So I mean, it's like yeah, don't think too hard about it. Like you know, like uh, let me leave. You know, like you 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 do your thing and uh, we see here lucy like you know all alone and this uh pilar guys Pil pilar that's his name yeah he, he comes in and he starts like you know talking to her and everything david like you know looks at the whole thing and i'm pretty sure david is probably like you know, still conflicted about what to feel about lucy because she did help him you know kind of and uh, he did kind of feel a little bit of friendship within them between them but then like that happened you know and david is like oh everything was a lie then and uh, so yeah he doesn't know what to actually feel about and he's also like you know like confused because like, you know, he needs to continue the work with lucy lucy will also be here so they'll be working together so he doesn't know what to do in this situation 
anyways um okay after that uh oh i think rebecca comes in just a minute uh oh my god oh just a second um okay yeah uh rebecca comes in her name is rebecca so she's the, that girl who uh was like you know like uh in the in the bar who kind of stalled that guy maxim for a moment i love how she's just like yo <laughs> oh boy and she's like oh you don't remember me after all that we went through and i love how she genuinely gets pissed off when she realizes that he doesn't actually remember <laughs> she's like what the hell <laughs> And David is uh, like, oh, you're, you're the one at the bar. And she's like, yeah, there you go. And she gives him, I'm Rebecca. I heard you're joining main steams. He says, is this carbonated? Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's carbonated. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just a second. What the hell happened here? Why did she suddenly become tall? Just a minute. Am I, is my eyes playing tricks on me? what the you see that first part <laughs> that first part was david standing you know and rebecca's there he's like here she's over here you know of david Le oh was it? she was like oh okay okay i think she was like crouched down or something was she like and then like you know, in the later portion when she's like oh i can i'll see you later he's over here she was crouched wasn't she surely surely she was crouched what the hell happened there let me check it again no she wasn't what what happened she was here and then she's suddenly here what the <laughs> i have no idea what the hell happened here <laughs> i don't know maybe she has like a height increasing <laughs> chrome or something implant inside of her legs or something i don't know what the hell i don't know anyways okay either way enough about her height so she's like oh we'll meet again you know since we will be in the same team so yeah goodbye and uh, ah principal calls him again and principal is like oh mr martinez it is a good time it's kind of rowdy outside isn't it and He's like, oh, so did you hear about what I said yesterday? You need to apologize, this and that. He's just giving all these things. And <laughs> David is like, yeah, I understand. And he's like, oh, excellent. So about your apology to Mr. Tanaka. And he's like, yeah, pass, pass this along to Kasut for me. If he wants revenge, I'll be waiting. But I'm done going easy. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> and cuss it off. So yeah, and then he takes a swig at the, you know, like, uh, the drink. And yeah, it's obviously not carbonated. It's probably, you know, I don't know, like, alcohol or something. So yeah, there you go. He just... And that's where it ended. So yeah. David joins the cyberpunks. So it's a good thing, you know, like I said, because for, you know, in Night City, you shouldn't be alone. This is a place that gets to you. And you need a place to go back to. And uh, this was the perfect opportunity for him to get a place where he could belong. And yeah, he's got it. So there you go. So that was it. Uh, that was a good episode. This was episode number three of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And I'll check them out. That's it, guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, next week with another episode of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.